Apple announced iOS 18 with a lot of new features. Some of them we covered on our channel, so make sure you check it out. But Photos app got a major total revamp. And in today's video, let's compare Photos app in iOS 17 and iOS 18 so that you guys know what are the new features and where to find them. So first and foremost, let's start with the overall UI. Okay, so this iPhone is running iOS 18 and this one is running iOS 17. Now let's open Photos app. And as you can see, the default layout has been changed. This is the older one and this is the new layout we get with iOS 18. And as soon as I scroll down, this will be our whole library. Whereas in iOS 17, we get all these library for you album search tabs, which are gone in iOS 18. But the search can be enabled by just tapping this icon over here at the top. And this time, the UI of search is totally different when you compare it with the iOS 17 UI. Over here, you will get the option of recently viewed, recently shared, and you can also search for particular apps by just writing a prompt in it. For example, let's go with the last one. And all the photos shot in last month will be visible here. Let's go back. Now, as you can see, over here, years, month, and all is available. Whereas in iOS 17, you had years, months, days as well. But the days option has been removed in iOS 18. But we get a new button, that arrow button, we can just tap on it and you can sort out your photos by recently added or date captured. And if you tap on filter, you can also filter your photos with favorites, edited photos, videos or screenshots. And you can also select the view option, either zoom in or zoom out. You can also change the aspect ratio of the grid, but I think the square one is better. And you can also disable screenshots if you don't want to showcase in your library. So you can see that this three dot button over here in iOS 17 photos app is transformed into this arrow icon right down over here. But we also get a new icon of your profile picture or Apple ID. You can just tap on it and you will have all these settings. This page will show your photos, videos and if you want to show shared album activity you can toggle it on if you want to enable hidden albums you can also toggle it on and over here there are much more settings which you can play if you want to earlier these features were available in settings and going into photos app and as you can see some of them features are over here but you don't need to go into settings then photos then enable these settings right now in ios 18 you can directly do it from just tapping onto your profile icon and over here you will have most of the settings available. So if we scroll up on iOS 18, as you can see, we have all these indicators, but what are they? Basically, these are collections which you can see and you can just customize them by tapping on customize, of course. And if you want to add an album, just select it and right from here, you can just add it. And right under it, you will have the list of collections you can either check or uncheck. And let's go back and we have just added this album and as you can see, and right under that, you will have recent days. Well, all these are again a collection of days on which you have shot these photos. So basically, this is like a timeline you can just visit if you want to. So in iOS 18, it was days option which we had, which showcased all these photos photo shot on some particular days but we got recent days in iOS 18. So if we scroll down further as you can see we have option of people and pets whereas in iOS 17 you needed to go into albums and then over here you will have the option of people and places. So what Apple did is they combined all the tabs and created one single page on which you will have all your libraries, albums, peoples and pets making it very easy to navigate. Okay so next option we have is pinned collection. So all these collections are being pinned. That means basically you can favorite your favorites. I know this doesn't make any sense, but as you can see, you can pin your favorites. That means if you want to go into your favorites, this is the quickest way to navigate to it. So if you tap on modify, you can also pin a lot of things like people and pets, albums, trips, memories, featured photos, media types, selfies, accidentally deleted, hidden imports. You can also add collections and albums according to your taste as well. So let's add this guy and that's it. So as you can see, we have added our personal collection into pinned collection. So whereas on iOS 17, you didn't have such option like pinned collection, but you can always favorite some of your photos and that will be saved into favorite section. And as you can see right now, I don't have any favorites, but let's make one. And let's do this. And if you go back, so yeah, we have only option 
to favorite things but not pin so not only apple revamped the photos app but also added some crucial features like pin collection which will be really helpful to navigate those precious lifeful moments you had in your past and now let's talk about memories as you can see we scroll further on iOS 18 in Photos app and you will get all the memories we had and you can just see it. But in iOS 17, you needed to go into For You section, For You tab and over here you will have those memories. So basically, Apple have streamlined your navigation in iOS 18 Photos app. So right in the memories, you will get the option of trips. So if you have been onto trips, your iPhone will collect your data, location data and people's as well. And of course the date and will create a collection of trip. And so in future, you can just want to revisit those memories you can do that so if you scroll further more you will get the option of trips so if you have been to somewhere your iphone your ios 18 will collect all your datas all your snapshots and will create a collection of that trip so whereas on ios 17 there is no such feature as trip collection so this is a brand new feature introduced in ios 18 and right under trips you will have the option of albums and if you just tap on it you will get all the albums you have created on your iphone whereas on ios 17 if you tap on album you will have all these albums created like this and i think personally this is a much better looking ui compared to this you can also check shared albums and album activity by just tapping on these tabs and right under album you will have the option of shared albums right now i don't have any so as you can see i just told you that you can just tap on these tabs and you can just access these albums and right under shared album you will have featured photos and you can just tap on it and all these photos are featured photos you can if you want to you can edit them but in ios 17 you need to go into your for you tab and over here you will have your featured photos again navigation on ios 17 in photos app is really a task but apple have streamlined navigation in ios thoroughly and i'm really enjoying the overall layout of it so if you scroll more you will have media types and if you tap on it and you will have all your counts of videos selfies live photos portrait time lapse cinematic screenshots and of course screen recordings whereas if you go into albums scroll down and over here you will have all these media types but ios 18 is more comprehensive as you can see as this offers much more options and let me just close it and if you scroll down further more you will get the option of utilities same as over here in albums section similarly if i tap on it again as you can see over here as well we have a lot of options available in utilities the map has been shifted from people and places to utilities in ios 18 and of course there are multiple things you can filter out qr codes you can see recently viewed recently shared documents and what not else apple has given us really really good features with ios 18 photos app and in ios 18 you don't need to just fly around into tabs to search for that perfect picture and lastly we have wallpaper suggestion and this in my opinion is one of the best feature of photos app in ios 18 because this will automatically suggest some photos which are worth as your wallpaper and it will made some sample pieces for you and this customize option is same as we covered in the library section and if you just go over here and if we just search for that customize as you can see if you don't want to customize this section over here you can just go down like this and if you just tap on customize over here you will still get the same screen so that was all ui layout changes in ios 18's photos app compared to ios 17's photos app but changes doesn't end here so now let's see if we open a photo or a video and find out more changes or not okay so let's open a photo on both the devices let's go with this one on ios 18 and this on ios 17 and as you can see the place date and time has been shifted towards left and on ios 17 it is in center and if you go down as you can see in ios 17 all these buttons are equidistance that means all the spaces in between of these icons are equal whereas on ios 18 these buttons are in cluster as you can see favorite i button and this my friend this is the new setting button which we get at the top in ios 
17 but now it comes with a new cliff icon so before we go into the edit section let's tap on this three dot button and check what this does and is there any changes and over here you can adjust location adjust time and similarly you can do this and this is a person that is the reason this photo is getting featured this person less otherwise you will also get the same option if you open a photo which have a person in it and let's go with uh, this guy and if i tap on three dot button you will have this option as well let's tap on edit over here and you can see over here so earlier whenever we go into the edit mode you can see that the background is in black regardless if you have turned on the dark mode or not the background stays in black whereas in ios 18 you can change the background by just tapping on this three dot button appearance and if it is system and right now i haven't activated dark mode so that is the reason it is white and if i just go dark it will be turned into black but i think i should go with system so that it is easy to identify which phone is which so now let's edit both the photos and i'm gonna select auto over here and auto as well so we have auto connected both the photos but as soon as i tap on this three dot button i can just copy edits right from here whereas when i tap on this three dot button you will get options from right beneath which looks quite odd in my opinion but you will also have the option of save as duplicate right under this section earlier when you need to duplicate this photo with edits you need to tap on done and now again tap on three dot icon and then you need to select duplicate which is a quite long task so let me just go into the edit mode again and this is the photo and let's go into the edit again let me just turn off auto correction over here for now and now let's crop the photo if we tap over here and as you can see you will get this lock basically what this does is this locks your aspect ratio for example if i just crop as you can see over here the aspect ratio doesn't changes whereas in ios 17 we don't have anything like this lock feature you can easily unlock it like this and you can just crop the picture accordingly but i think this feature works like a charm so there's one more thing we need to talk about and if i tap on this three dot button i will have this option called extensions if i tap on it you will have this share sheet in which all the photo editing app installed in your iphone will be visible and you can send this photo to that particular app and edit it whereas in ios 17 if i tap on this three dot button directly you will have the option to send this photo to photo editing apps you have installed on your iphone well that's all about photo editing but what about videos you ask me well let's see so now let's open a video on both the devices and check if there are any video editing changes on ios 18 photos app or not let's go with this video and let's open this one and as you can see the ui has been changed and this look much more premium compared to this one this looked really cluttered in my opinion and it was very difficult to navigate and you know it doesn't look like the apt adaptation of c client where this is quite universal and easy to use not only that you can just pause the video like this whereas you need to pause over here here's the mute button and you can just mute the video from here in ios 17 but overall the overall ui is much better on ios 18 now let's edit this video if i tap on it and if i tap over here again as you can see the background is the same because ios 18's photos app can be switched into dark and light background whereas on ios 17 only dark background is available so similarly in video section as well you will have all these options which we had in photo editing copy edits paste edits save as duplicates you can change the periods which i have talked about undo redo and what not else whereas on ios 17 you only had two options copy edits and paste edits now let's close this and go in crop and in crop as well here is the lock we have talked about in photo editing that it doesn't allow us to change the aspect ratio of the crop which is quite good in my opinion whereas on iOS 17 we doesn't have any feature like this and simply you can just tap on lock to unlock it and do whatever you want. So these were all the changes present in iOS 18's photos app and in my opinion Apple has done really really good job with the overhauling of photos app in iOS 18. What do you think guys which one do you prefer 
photos app on iOS 17 or photos app on iOS 18. If you ask me, in my opinion, Apple has done really, really good job with iOS 18's photos app by streamlining the navigation and of course getting rid of cluttered UI. But there is one more thing I need you to do and that is of course subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every time we post a video like this. And if you like what you see, then make sure to press the like button as well and let YouTube know that we are doing some good work. On this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, Tada, see ya. Bye-bye.